Hi everybody, welcome back to Charming Data. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful new year, a good New Year's Eve celebration, and that this uh, upcoming year is a lot better than, than the last year that we had. All right, so in this uh, video, I wanna divide it into three different parts. The first part is going to be um, this join button. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about this and the implications of clicking on it. Um, the second part is Lotties. I'm going to show you how to add small GIFs called Lotties to your dashboard app that make the dashboard uh, a little bit more interactive, just prettier, and just provides a nice user experience for your, for your app users. In the third part, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the dashboard apps that I want to create um, in the beginning of, of this year. And I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you in the comments below the video if there are specific dashboard apps that, that you would like me um, to create for you um, and, and for the rest of the Charming Data community. All right. So um, this first this first button, this is a button that uh, YouTube just allowed me to use. And this uh, join button is something that allows um, community members just like you to support um, online educators and online content creators on YouTube uh, just like me. Look, it's it's never really um, easy to to run a YouTube channel. It's it's time consuming. It's resource intensive. Um, but with the support um, from people like you, it actually becomes possible. Uh, if you don't have, uh, if it's not possible for you right now to become a member, um, nothing will change on the YouTube channel. Uh, all the YouTube videos that I have and uh, the, the code that I provide on GitHub will still remain free and you will still have access to that in the, in the past and in the future. However, if you do choose to uh, become uh, a member uh, of Charming Data and support the free education that I provide, um, the support you're going to see is going to be divided into three different tiers. The first tier is, um, as you can see here above, some community tab, some posts that I'm going to um, offer to um, exclusively for members on the community tab. So these posts are going to include things like um, a dash plotly um, tips, uh, some tricks, um, uh, general information um, on um, data visualization in Python and how you can improve um, things in order to create more um, uh, professional dashboards and data visualization in Python. Uh, the second tier of the membership is going to be um, access to, um, uh, to code that's on my GitLab. So I provide code on GitHub in the YouTube tutorials, but there's some additional code that I write to create high-end um, dashboards uh, or just um, uh, nice uh, tricks and components that I don't usually put on my tutorials. So by becoming a member of the second tier, you'll have complete access to all the code on GitHub and to this um, high-end code on, uh, on my GitLab. In the third tier, um, you'll have access, or not even access, you'll have an opportunity to talk uh, to me for uh, during a 20-minute um, consultation via Zoom or Skype or Google Meet, whatever, uh, where we can talk about Dash or Plotly or data visualization in Python, really anything to help you become um, better and stronger at data visualization and uh, um, uh, analytic web apps in Python. Um, also, you'll have access to badges. So these, these badges that you see above my head um, are part of uh, all the membership tiers. And these badges change as you are subscribed for this channel. The more you are, the longer you're subscribed, the, the more the, 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 the badges um, change. Um, you'll also have some access to cool emojis that I'm building right now. So that's kind of neat because you'll be able to use them. And, and those badges, you'll be able to see them on the comments that you post or on live chats um, that you have uh, with me on, on Charming Data. Um, I want to clarify that it's it's very similar to Patreon. Uh, Patreon is another platform to support independent creators um, like me. Um, so if you're already a, a patron, uh, this is very similar um, to the, the patron benefits uh, that, that my patrons get. Um, so you can choose how, how you would uh, like to support either through patron or through um, YouTube membership. It's up to you. It's very similar um, uh, ex uh, member exclusive benefits. Most importantly, um, by you becoming a member of Charming Data, you're actually helping me achieve my mission, which is to help um, other people uh, around the, the world uh, build 
a career in data visualization in Python and also offer them um, provide them the knowledge and the tools that are necessary to create a beautiful, powerful, and professional analytic web apps in Python. So um, join the family, click the join button below the video, and let's start our data visualization journey together. All right, the second part of this video I wanted to show you is the, um, the GIFs. These are small GIFs called Lotties. Lotties as you can see here in this explanation that, that on their main website is a JSON based animation file, right? That you can put pretty much on any platform because they are a small data file, right? If a PNG is like a dinosaur, a GIF is like an elephant, a lot is like a puppy, it's really small, um, supposedly easy to create and, and easy to put on any platform. There's a lot of community um, uh, created, community developed uh, lotties that you can just choose from that are completely free and put on your on your dashboard app. Um, so let's do that. Let's put this to GIFs that I uh, lotties, sorry, that I uh, added into the code to our dashboard app. So the first thing you want to do is um, go into go into the code right here. This code is going to be under under the video. It's going to be on the GitHub. Um, you can just copy paste it, put it onto your Python IDE and run it and it, and it should work. Uh, if it doesn't work, it probably um, what you need for it to work is pip install dash. You need pip install dash bootstrap components and pip install dash slash um, hyphen extensions. You need this library for um, the Lotties to work. All right. So um, Lotties, um, Emil from, um, uh, well, I don't know where he's from, but he created this um, component that's a React uh, uh, wrapper, and it's right here. And this is the link inside the code, so you can look more into it if you want. Thank you, Emil. Um, we're going to use these two URLs. These are two different um, Lotties. Let's actually copy paste and see what we have here. i got to paste this. You'll see that if we... Oh, this is just code, right? If we were just copy this HTML, this is just code. But what it actually is, it's these two, um, these two Lotties that I chose from 2020. Um, this one right here, and there's another one below. So if you click on this, you'll see that you get the Lottie itself right here. You'll see the speed of it. And then you can just copy the HTML code, not HTML, the HTTP code, URL and then just paste it inside here. So we're going to call this first Lottie our URL. This second one is going to be our URL2. And then we just have to define some options, right? The option is going to be a dictionary. Loop is true. You can turn this to false, but I want it to just loop uh, on and on. Autoplay true. And this is pretty much should probably stay the same always. And that's really it. You just have to add two, uh, one more line of code, which is the HTML div, right? So I put this inside the card body because this is code. All of this code right here, I created um, several months ago with the dash bootstrap. It's actually this code right here, bootstrap card. If you want to learn more about the bootstrap or how to create um, this, which I created a few months ago, just go into the video above and you'll see, uh, you'll understand this code a lot better. But if you just want to add the law team, all you have to do is define these URLs, define these options, and then just add the HTML div right here. That's it. So it's HTML div DE because DE, as you can recall, is dash extensions dot Lottie, right? And then options equals the options as you defined here, options. Um, URL equals the, your, the first URL that we chose right here, the developer one. And then I just chose width and height to be 50%, uh, which gives us this right here. It's about this size. You can do 25, 25% and you'll be a little bit smaller. If you click on it, you'll see that the, uh, the Lottie stops. And if you click on it again, the Lottie starts. Here's another example. Another one that I chose that I like was this one right here, the second card body. This is the card question body right here, which represents this one, right? So in the first line inside the card body in the side of the children, it's the first uh, line of code, HTML div, very similar options, options, URL, URL. I chose URL2 right here, right? Because it's the second URL, it's the one right here, this one. And I chose actually to change the speed. So where is it? There you go. 
So I change the speed here to, the speed is one, which is uh, um, uh, the, the normal speed. And if you save it, you'll see that this is speed number one. But if we want to change the speed to three, so it's a little bit faster, three times faster actually, you go here and you'll see suddenly how it's a lot faster once it reloads. You see, so now the GIF is a little bit faster and you can still click on it to stop it or click on it to start it again. Again, to uh, find these Lotties, um, I'm going to add this um, link below the video. Uh, just go to, actually, I'm going to add this link as well. Um, just go to any lot you want. Some here are free, some are not. I chose this one. Click on it and then you should find uh, the HTTP um, URL right here that you can click on and copy it and just add it to your to a url um, instead of instead of these ones if you prefer different different um lotties okay so um the third thing we wanted to do is talk a little bit about um, um this upcoming uh, year and what i want to do i want to offer you um complete dashboard apps now a lot of them you have told me um, that, uh, that, that, that you would like to see me create a dashboard app from A to Z from start to finish. So uh, one dashboard app that I have in mind is the financial dashboard app. Um, another dashboard app that I want to create this, this upcoming week, hopefully, is a dashboard app of social media, um, social media analysis. So I'm going to analyze TikTok posts, music and videos. I'm going to do that. But I want to create more uh, dashboard apps and I want to create the dashboard apps that makes the most sense to you and that can serve you the most. So please go into the YouTube comments below the video. Let me know which dashboard um, apps you would like to see, what content you'd like to see, and I'll be more than happy to try to, to implement that into the, in the tutorials. Thank you for supporting me this last year. Thank you for watching my channel. And I hope we have a, a wonderful uh, new year uh, this year coming up. Um, click the join button, click this link above if you'd like to join, and I'll see you next week.